large insects, especially grasshoppers, crickets, and katydids, will rot and grow fungi if they are not gutted and stuffed with cotton wool. The insect should be soft and flexible so that it doesn't break when pinned. The equipment you will need is scissors, soft larval forceps or a spatula, fine-tipped forceps, very small cotton wool balls, foot powder, and insect pins. The first step is to find the line where there is a natural seam on the lateral side of the abdomen. Use your scissors to make a small incision along this line. This is important so that the incision can be easily closed afterwards and will be invisible. Using your fine-tipped forceps, remove the gut contents from the incision which you made. Continue removing the contents carefully in order to avoid damaging the insect until there is nothing left to remove. Use a flat surface to stuff the insect with antifungal foot powder and or talcum powder through the incision that you made. This will help to prevent fungal growth and to absorb moisture. Use as much powder as possible. Next, stuff the insect with cotton balls you prepared. Be careful to keep the incision as small as possible and stuff the insect until the entire cavity of the abdomen is full. Be careful not to overstuff the insect, it should feel and look natural. When you're done stuffing, carefully use your fine-tipped forceps to close the incision so that when the insect dries, it will be invisible. In the end, make sure that the incision is closed neatly and properly so that your specimen looks something like the one here. Now you're ready to pin your specimen. Hold the insect firmly and insert a number four, five, or six insect pin through the right hand posterior side of the pronotum. Check that the pin has gone in straight. The specimen should be perpendicular to the pin and one centimeter from the top. Using a paintbrush, brush any excess powder off the insect. Next, use straight pins to position the legs and antennae. The insect should look symmetrical and neat. All of the important characters on the end of the abdomen and on the legs should be visible. But keep in mind that large insects will take up a large amount of space in your collection, so keep the legs close to the body. Leave in the sun or a warm place to dry for approximately three weeks before removing the pins. Thank you for watching our video on large insect gutting.